Hi, welcome to my KD 4.3 Plasma Overview Screencast. I won't be able to cover absolutely all the changes in 4.3, but we should hopefully get a start. I want to keep it to about 10 minutes, so I've got my little timer widget here, and we'll see if I make it. In 4.3, We've done quite a bit of work on the look and feel of things, as we usually do between releases. So we have a really nice new theme called Air. Whereas Oxygen was darker, blacker, had a nice sleek look to it, um, Air goes in a different direction and is still elegant and sleek, but is brighter um, and fits with the default Oxygen theme perhaps a bit better. It also has these cool little circles that are different in each widget you actually make, um, providing some visual texture without being too in your face about it. That's a new feature in the theming system for, for Plasma. You'll also notice that my panel is very small. Uh, we've worked on the ability to have small panels as well as improving vertical panels. Uh, if you see my, my system tray here, there is no top and bottom to it. If I make my panel large enough, I'll actually get the full frame around it, but when it squishes down, it grows smaller. In fact, in 4.3, the default panel is not much bigger than this one right here. I believe it's 28 or 26 pixels high. So those people who like small pixels and people who are looking for elegant defaults rejoice. We've done it. Uh, we've gone a little bit further in 4.3. You can also put spacers in your panel that are available from the settings. You can add a spacer and then you can actually say I would like a big gigantic space here between these two widgets or whatnot. It allows you to control the way your panel looks a lot more. Uh, if you're running desktop effects, which unfortunately I'm not right now because the X driver I'm using is currently in a moment of suckage, um, but if you are, when you open up things such as the calendar, it'll actually slide up, and then when I close it, it'll actually slide back down into the clock. We're working on a lot of integration or further integration with the window manager in KD4, Quinn, which is responsible for desktop effects. We want in KD4.4 to actually move this effect of sliding in and out of the panel into Quinn itself. We also have other integration features such as in the taskbar. In the past, we've always we've shown the thumbnails for the windows. Um, and in 4.4, you can actually click on those in the, in the, in the tooltips, which is neat. But in 4.3, you can also turn on a feature in Quinn that when you mouse over an entry in the taskbar, it'll actually fade out all the other windows except the one that you're over, or the ones if it's a group. We've also done things um, in Quinn. Uh, this is actually the Quinn team that's done this uh, in coordination with the Plasma team, and that is using theming elements from uh, Plasma. So you'll notice that the Alt Tab Switch dialog, for instance, has a very Plasma look and feel to it. In fact, you'll see this as the same interface, this nice animated back uh, or selection rectangle in a minute in KRunner as well. Now, we haven't just done bling. Uh, we've also paid a lot of attention to stability and performance. In the last six months, we've triaged and closed over 2,300 defect reports. That does not include wish list items, just defect reports. Obviously, that's not 2,300 individual fixes. There were duplicates and whatnot, but it shows we have paid a lot of attention to these things. In particular, there was like, two crashes, one in animations and one in the taskbar that was hitting just insane numbers of people in the last couple of releases, and we've addressed both of those. So we really wanted 4.3 to be a great release, not just in, in impact, but also stability and performance, the trustability issue, if you will. We've also added a lot of features. I count eight new widgets, as well as eight new, coincidentally, data engines. Um, they're not actually paired up one-to-one, -one, it just happened there was eight each. Some of the more exciting ones are the open desktop uh, widget that ties into well open desktop and this is the beginning of the user being able to see the social desktop parts of it so you can log in and you can see who your friends are and I won't show that so that they don't you know um, but you can also pe see people who are nearby and this uses the geolocation engine obviously there's no one nearby right now logged into open desktop which is a bit unfortunate but if they were they'd show up right there the geolocation engine uses either GPS or your IP address to determine where you are in the world. We're working on improving that engine to include even other sources and, and things such as being able to tell by the uh, wireless router you're on. Um, we're also working on integrating with more than just the open desktop widget, but other things such as your activities and whatnot. So this is just the beginning of geolocation. Uh, you'll find geolocation happening in a lot of other places in KDE as well, not just Plasma. Uh, we've also got things such as unit converter which allows you to convert between any number of different kinds of things. It's kind of neat. Uh, you can also see this exact same feature in KRunner, which has received quite a bit of work as well in 4.3. So I'm going to type in that same thing, 1,200 square meters as acre. Oh, look at that. There it is. 
0.296526. Great, now I know. This actually uses the same backend in both, so as one improves, so does the other. You'll also notice that if I type into KRunner, I get this really nice interface. Looks very much like the window switcher, doesn't it? And that's purposeful. Um, it's also uh, got a listing, the vertical listing, so you can see things better. You can configure options, which is nice. Um, you can also find out what the heck KRunner can do. There's a nice little help button. When you click on it, it actually tells you what is possible. So I can go down and I can look for things. What's really neat as well is if I look for, say, the calculator, and I go, oh, I'd like to calculate something. I can select that item, and it will start the query for me, and I can just start typing. So I can actually learn what current KRunner is able to do for me. That's pretty neat. We've also worked a lot on the stability as well as speed of KRunner in 4.3. Okay, back to new widgets and cool stuff. One of the other cool widgets is, remember the milk. It's a big effort. Um, this is brand new in 4.3, but I think it works pretty well for a first, uh, a first run at it. You'll notice that it also uses the uh, Becoming Ubiquitous little tab switcher here, which is really neat. You can actually grab it and throw it, or you can just click around as well. Uh, but it actually uses a tab widget in the back end, just with some nice plasma work on it. So you can see I've got my plasma screencast thing here. Uh, Remember the Milk is a, is a task, an uh, online task uh, system. It's a web service as well. So it shows our, our tying into with web services. And really, I don't want to do it any time. I want to do it today. Nope. There we are. Overdue. Yeah, that's probably correct, isn't it? <laughs> uh, it's not letting me do it on today. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to click on it. It's done. It should have had like a top priority. And I'm going to update that task. And it's done. If I actually logged onto the website, I'd see that um, as well there, just as with changes I make in the Open Desktop widget. Uh, so very cool stuff.